Hey folks, 1881 MF, life is just a buzz, and here we are, springtime in East Tennessee, and it's time to start some projects. So today we are going to make real quick, real easy bookshelf, uh, shelf, no, shelf units. Shelf. We're in, in the barn, we're going to have, uh, the boathouse. In the boathouse. Okay, thank you, babe. We so do know what make, we're doing. Okay, so we basically are making an eight foot tall, uh, shelf that's going to be four feet wide, and two feet deep and it's pretty particular for us for where we're going to put it so in order to do that I, I went ahead and I cut I cut eight 46 and a half inch two by fours 46 and a half inches it's just an inch and a half short of 48 inches four feet to compensate for the thickness of the two by four so mm -hmm. the way I'm putting them together like this you're going to need eight 46 and a half inch two by fours And you're going to need eight 22 and a half inch two by fours. And that's what I cut already right here. And then as you can see, we're going to put them together just like this and we're going to make a square box out of them. And by doing them this size, 46 and a half inch and 22 and a half, and then taper them on like that, that makes it to where we can get four tops out of one piece of four by eight plywood without having a whole lot of waste. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill a couple punch holes on each one of these. And then I'm going to run inch, run in my three run inch, inch. <laughs> run in my three inch exterior screws all the way around. I'm going to make four of those and then after that we'll cut the top. Okay so we've made our frames, four frames. They are two foot by four foot each frames. And then we took our eight foot pieces of two by fours and we drew where we were gonna put our shelves and pre-drilled them. And there's my shadow, shitester, sorry. Pre-drilled the holes, put screws in them. And now this plywood top, I don't know if you can see, we've drew our line, we cut it in quarters. So we'll rip saw this. And then we'll put it together, so. We've worked on it about an hour probably. Of course we have some of our dummy moves as far as the measurements and stuff are required, but anyways, we're getting there. Okay, so we got our plywood cut into our two by four sheets, and now the next thing you're gonna do is put them on top of your frames. Pretty good fit. We'll screw those guys in with some uh, one and a half inch That's exterior great. screws, and we're gonna do that for all four. Okay, so now I've laid out each of our square shelves that we made and put covers on, screwed them down, and we took our legs, and we're going to kind of lay them on here, and we're going to go ahead and screw them down on, on one side, and then we'll roll it over and do the other one, and you know, that's pretty much the shelf, folks. Easy. Hour, hour and a half work. Forty bucks will make you one of these, I think. So, anyways. There you go, folks. There's our big ass shelf. It's eight feet tall, probably weighs 50 pounds, four foot by, uh, I'm sorry, eight foot by four foot by two foot deep. So we're going to make two of these for the price of probably 80 bucks, but not bad, huh? It's also a ladder if you want it to be. So as you can see, I'm over seven foot tall. So this is a pretty good size this is a pretty good sized shelf and it's made to hold a lot of weight. So thanks for watching. 1881 MF. Little Debbie does behind the counter on the Life Buzzing channel. I appreciate everybody. I appreciate all the comments and all the thumbs up. And uh, I'll keep it coming if you keep coming watching them. Thanks folks. Bye bye.